What's up, y'all? It's Kells, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I drop DIY videos every Sunday at 8 p.m., and you do not want to miss out. So, we are going to be jumping right in with these pink denim and glitter Ugg boots that I did. So, the first thing I did is I went ahead and I cleaned the boots off. This is what they looked like beforehand. The soles were not bad, but the top did have a lot of stains and creases. So, if your boots have that issue too, this is perfect for you. All right, before we get started, I want to make sure that you have everything that you need. So, go ahead and grab a pair of jeans. Um, grab some ribbon. I got this ribbon at hobby lobby for 6.99 and this e6000 glue was about five or six dollars i ended up using about three different tubes yeah three tubes for that and then um some scissors doll scissors are going to give you more of a frayed look when cutting that denim so doll scissors are going to be best and a sanding block i did actually forget to put the tweezers in this picture you're going to need some tweezers you can use any kind of tweezers, but I prefer the needle tweezers. You're going to get done a lot faster using those. All right, first things first, you're going to go ahead and take your scissors and start cutting up this jean. Notice how I'm kind of, I'm not cutting it, but kind of like wrapping around the scissors and pulling it through. That is going to give it more of a frayed look at the ends, and that is what you want. Now we're going to go ahead and do the holes. So... When you're doing the holes, go ahead and put a slit in the denim, flip it around. You can see how the threads crisscross. What you're wanting to do is to pull that thread out. So I'm sticking my tweezers in the denim and I am pulling the little threads out, just trying to get this frayed look. The more distressed, the better always. Um, you can always cut these little strings away if you don't like them. And I also did a lot of the distressing of the denim while I had it on the boot and you'll see me do that um, when you watch the rest of the video also i want you guys to know you do not have to use the same kind of jeans that i use you can use any kind of jeans you could bleach jeans dye them and use them you can do so many different things with this um also real quick before i finish this denim up you're going to see me buff it with that purple block that is going to fray it and give it more of a distressed look instead of me having to throw it into the dryer. All right, y'all, so I went straight to busting out this glitter ribbon. I went ahead and glued a few pieces on the front already, but now I am at the edge and I am sizing it up. I am gonna go straight edge to straight edge on the boot, if that makes sense. So I'm taking it right from the naturally straight edge of the ribbon, how it comes, and I am gluing it like so. Make sure that you're using a generous amount of glue when you're doing this. I feel like I've had DIY projects in the past that didn't come out good simply because I didn't take my time. Or I just didn't use enough glue. So, more of the story, use enough glue, guys. Now, when you get to laying down this glitter ribbon, you just want to make sure that you're being really neat. I'm really smoothing it out and just making sure everything looks good. Making sure you get those edges. We want this boot to be nice and snatched. Now these right here, these are cuticle scissors. I did not put this in the list before, but they are very useful. They're kind of curved, so you can get into like all of the corners that you need to get into. And then right here, I'm just kind of cutting a piece of the glitter ribbon to fit right there in that corner. I do feel like we have reached that point in the video where I cannot talk anymore. I'm going to let you watch me work. I don't think there's too much more explaining I can do without boring you guys. So just kind of watch the technique when I lay down the jean. Um, you know, just do some overlapping. Try out some stuff on your own. Get creative with it. And if you guys do try this, I definitely want to see. So send me pictures, pictures, pictures. I also had to add in that in the intro clip, the Uggs did have bows in the back. But I did that after I stopped filming. So I did not know that that was going to happen. And I apologize for that, guys. So I can definitely make a bow video on how I did that. If that's what you guys want to know. 
so just leave a comment below and let me know how you feel what you want to see next and how i did What we do here is go back, 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 back.